Hello, my name is Pixelated Twix, and welcome to Boundless. Happy Sunday, happy Easter, happy Resurrection Day to all of you out there in, uh, well, social media land, I suppose. We are here in, well, we're not in Veruca's workshop as we normally start off. Let me just stand still because, you know, I will sit here and run around um, while I'm talking to you because I get distracted. ADD kicks in so hard sometimes for me. Anyways, I am in my own workshop um yes this is a space that i've been working on for the last week or so trying to get it up and running for the settlement um i had plans to do this anyways um i'd actually started this um prior to us losing access to uh veruca's um workshop and i decided to um, proceed on with the build and it is a work in progress as you can see I have big plans for this workshop um, it has gotten out of hand yes it has um, I had <laughs> I, I had an idea and then I just kind of well let's just say I I I I Ugh, just um I let it I just went with it so um here we are we've got these individual workshop rooms for all the machines or individual machine rooms I should say so um, for those of you who are not familiar with boundless um, there are different machines to do different jobs uh, mixer extractor workbench I have two of each uh, refinery um, the center forge is right here compactor I don't have I forget what it's called it's to make um, paint I don't have that set up because I'm not sure if I'm gonna get into that but I will probably go ahead and do it anyways because I'm sure one of us on the settlement um, maybe Mel will um, melanin sims 2000 she might get interested in doing it and then again who knows I might um, get a little froggy and do it myself but um, yeah so this is what the workshop is looking like so far what I have planned for here is like some uh, like if we have some storage or something or you know if we're working in here and um, this isn't enough like on a big project we can use these as um, I guess um, storage for their your big project or something like that so that was my idea and um, then over here I have a bridge going to nowhere right now hello Sarah Palin um, but this is um, going to basically be like a little shopping mall it's like storefront shopping mall or something like that really cute i just had an idea i saw somebody um had something like that and i was inspired so this is what this is looking like right now yeah like i said it's it's grandiose it's a little much i i did go overboard but that's where we're at right now um i i did not do this by myself as far as like getting all the coils together melon and sims helped me quite a bit with trying to get this up and running um, as fast as possible coils these things right here see these little colored things i'll give you a closer look um yes these things right here they uh add power to the uh, machine and right here these uh these are like sparks, I think. I can't remember what these are called. Spark links or whatever. These go to the spark generator to the machine. The spark generator is where we add fuel and these help fuel these machines. The, the coils add power. Um, so it's a whole thing. I love it. Now we've got this little cubby hole here. This is for um, Sparks. We're still adding um, Sparks. This is for extra stuff. We're still adding in a little hidden cubby here and then another one here um, just for more um, coils uh those be these will be used for something else like maybe i'll put fuel extra fuel in here or what have you i'm pretty sure we're not gonna get to, we have we're not going to be to that point where we just have so much fuel that we have to put it in the overflow but this is what we've got so far so you can see i have still a lot of work to do with ceiling floor um and things that going over there but i don't have any plots um so i need to uh earn those earn coins to get plots 
Um, yeah, so the workshop is going to get reworked completely. I moved everything out. I probably already discussed this. Uh, oh yeah, I've got my little gleam room going on over here. So I'm slowly, well actually I moved all the gleam that I have currently over. And um, so there's that. And then um, this will probably get moved down as well. I might make a separate room for workbenches. I don't know. We'll see, or for crafting tables. I kind of like it here, but I'm probably just going to move that all downstairs. And then the little stores I'm going to have set up aren't actually going to be stores, but they're going to be places where you can, I can um, store like specific things like one store for rocks so that'll be like tiffany's because tiffany's is known for their rocks right um or i could do gems that probably makes more sense but whatever um that was just i don't know just something that popped in my head um maybe a bath and body works looking shop or something like that i don't know i'm more of a, a wix and things kind of girl I, I love candles speaking of wix and things i'm running over here to my store yes i have another store oops this this um sling bow is terrible yeah this this is bad when you've got like low level um, mobs like this uh okay but i'm using this in lieu of using my good sling bow because i'm going on a hunt later on today and i might i might capture some of that footage for you later but this is what i'm doing this is uh my new shop um it's called well it is called wicker and things um you see right there and um this is i'm working on it i'm it's still uh a whip, a work in progress. I haven't got any plinths of yet, or not plinths, but um, what are those things called? Shop stands? Yeah, I need those. And of course, I have to fill it with inventory, so I need to do that. I need to actually start making um, wicker items and decor. So basically, that's what the store is about. Uh, my idea was to like supply decor items that could be anything from um, I don't know wicker to furniture, which is not a lot in the in the game, unfortunately. Maybe some decorative uh, blocks or rocks or whatever, and just things. A glass, who knows? It'll be in there. Gleam is considered decorative too, um, so at least in my opinion. I mean, I'm sure it is. But yeah, so this is what I've got so far. And then what I will probably do is have a portal from Purple Rain. I think I did this right. I don't know. I mean, I may have the wrong warp conduit, but that's where the port's going to be from the tree. And um, yeah, so this is what we have so far. It kind of looks like the chapel area. Oh, have you seen that? Let me show you really quick. Um, I actually wanted to run to Code, is it Code Gleam or um, Gleam Universe because I wanted to pick up a few pieces of Exo uh, Gleam, just a couple pieces because Exo Gleam is super expensive. But I need to, um, I want to add a little more lighting to the tree and then I still want to um, build another tree. That takes forever for me, guys, um, because that tree over there took me I don't know three times to actually get it to my liking basically it's like sorry about that guys I didn't want to cough in your ear but here I am at the um, the chapel and uh, we are looking at this glorious um, build thanks to Digby who finished this off for me um, I didn't really know what to do with the roof and he did that lovely bell and the cross for me it looks amazing I love it I absolutely love it and um, we can go in really quickly I'm still working on this too but I did add some seating here I ended up spray painting these uh, they were like a silk turquoise but I didn't think it looked right but I yeah maybe it blends in a little bit too much but I think it, it looks well I think it looks well I think it looks good um, then of course we can go down here I might change this up too. this banister looks a little thick She's a little thick. She's thickums, but I'm thinking I might go ahead and change that up. And then, of course, we have down here. Um, I don't know what this is supposed to be, but I like it. You know, whatever it is. This is like, um, this looks like, I think I said this looks like the Lorax threw up in here, but I don't know. I I, I might change this up. Who knows? I kind of like it in a way. Mm. 
but um, this is some storage it's really dark down here but I kind of like it like that I like how the gleam lights this up and then of course we have this room which I have done nothing with I'm not sure what I want for this I was thinking like this could be like a pantry area it's all churches have pantries at least my church did um, we had a pantry for like if somebody came in and they were hungry and we just had extra you know we would put extra food and stuff there we get food donations and you can go people could go in and get what they wanted or something like that but I'm thinking that I might just add a bed here for like someone I think I said this before I don't know I'm, I'm so confused it's my days are running together I haven't put anything here yeah, this actually, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna put in here, but I, it's a room, it's there. Um, and then we've got this here, okay? So um, that's what we've got going on with the chapel. As you can see, I'm still working on it. Blocks are still here. Um, I haven't really done anything yet. Um, so yeah, we've got this little area too. So yeah, I'm thinking I might make this like a little village or something, what do you think? Like maybe I could add a couple houses here, like some really cute medieval like houses. I think that would be cute. I think it would be a good addition and like some little pathways. I don't know. Yep, that's what I'm, I'm thinking. So um, I wanted to head over to Code Gleam and um, not Code Gleam, I keep saying Code Gleam. Um, Code Gleam is on my mind because apparently according to Melanin Sims, they're in need of Ort, and for those of you who do not know, Ort Stone is um, this purple rock. Uh, it looks like, uh, what would I say? It looks like amethyst almost, but it's used to fuel our portals. And um, Cold Gleam has a ton of portals to keep open because that's where people go and farm for Gleam. As a matter of fact, I could probably show you better than tell you. How about that? How about that? How about that? Uh, where is it? Where is it? It's in there. Uh, oh, I just had a brain fart. This is not cold lame. Oh, there we go again with the unplayable connection. I hate when I'm on this game and Wi-Fi. Um, I probably should, um, especially since we're going into hunts later. Um, I should probably, this is Gleam Universe. This is not cold lame. What am I doing? I have to go here anyway, so we're here. Um, so let's just quickly do what we came to do, which was grab some um, some stuff. I'm trying to think. Do I, I have Shadow Red. I kind of was looking at this. I wanted just to get a couple pieces because, I, like I said, this stuff is not cheap. But um, I thought this would be cool to have, like, um, some more ex some exo gleam. I don't know if exo gleam adds to the prestige, but I don't really care about prestige. Ooh, I like it. What is this? Dark red. Hmm. Mm. I don't want to get too expensive because this is not cheap. Look at this. Well, that's not too bad. Fifty per gleam. I mean, it's still expensive, but it's not like terrible. See, that's like hundred and fifty. Let me, let me just go over here really quick. I'm walking all over people's tables and stuff. How rude can I be? Seriously, no home training. See, I like this. But look at how much this is. Oh, this is ready too. Uh, see, I might have to bite the bullet and get that though because I think that goes well with my. Ooh, I like that too. Hmm. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. What do you think? Warm red, warm cherry, or should I go with, um, I don't know why I'm asking y'all. Like, you're here real time with me, but this one's cute, too. Let's just go with this. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's splurge a little bit. I just need, like, three pieces. I know. Who goes and buys three pieces of clean? I do. I do. Especially when it's expensive. Um, it's just expensive, okay? All right, so I wanted to show you guys really quick. Um, this is gonna be kind of a mini tutorial because I'm doing, I'm making a little, I'm making a little shop. Little shop, little shop of horrors. Okay, um, I'm making a little shop. And um, what I'm doing, I need to make uh, shop stands. And what I need to do before I make shop stands, I need to make the plinths. And I'll show you what a plinth looks like. Oh, this is perfect. Here's a plinth right here. This right here is actually a shop stand. 
but what this the base is without the the little um runner is a plinth and so you have to make those first and then you make the I, you have to make a shelf or something because you're storing an item on there so you're actually making a storage um it, it's a kind of an expensive item not really expensive item to make but um it's kind of um mm, well it's a it's a two-step process pretty much all right okay so what i'm gonna do is head back i'm gonna hop on my other tune and um because she's my crafting tune right now and um i will um show you what i'm doing oh uh, by the way guys i made 50 i'm so proud of me i'm so proud of luna shale she's 50 now she's getting up there so now because you're i turned 50 um i can open up another um skill tree which is right here so i will be actually making a skill tree specifically for hunting and um so that's something that i have to level up slowly but surely but um that is for that right now she's kind of an amalgamation of hunting and building and everything else in between so um my i will she will definitely be my hunter builder um and then i'll uh, probably well she's a hunter builder miner that's what she does uh, so she, she she's a jack of all trades um, master of none type deal all right so let me hop on dark shade and I will be right back I'm back I'm on dark shade and she's a different color you probably haven't seen her at all but um, I did change her color around all right so this is what we're doing let me just get my bearings here okay so Here's a storage block. I've got a lot going on, so you guys will have to excuse me for a minute. Okay, here's the unplayable connection. This is what happens, like I told you. This is what happens. I got all this stuff. Look at this, this is, yes. Like I said, I have a ton of stuff going on here. Let me just make sure I don't have, I'm clearing out. I need a ton of this cold berry. I love this rock, cold berry, because um, I'm making shelving. Um, I'm also making um, storage. What is this? There, there it is. So I need that. Okay, this is I actually probably I don't know why I have that in there. This is a remnant of something. Let me just make sure I check everything. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right. Um, I also made what did I make down here? This is a refinery. Okay, so we have these ready to go. Okay, so this is what I need to do. Let me just store this here because I don't want to like make the wrong thing and that's what will happen. All right, let me put these away. So I'm trying to think what I need. Okay, so I need to make um, a plinth. Um, so this is a plinth. This is what I need. I need any stone, any base metal and glue. Now I think I already made them. At least I thought I did. Well, what in the yickety yuck? Maybe I did, and they're down here. Yeah, okay. So, oh, wow. An hour? Listen. Okay, so guess what? That's the end of the tutorial. <laughs> That's the end of the tutorial. Because these are going to take about an hour. To, uh, yes, this is going to take an hour because I have 50. Why do I have 50? I have 50 for a reason. Don't know why, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to need all of them. Um, so that's that we, oh, this is going to take an hour. This is going to take an hour. See, this is why you need as much power as possible. I'm probably going to have to buy more coils because I think Matt, um, uh, max is 25 and we don't have enough. So this is why this project is taking so long. So why don't I go ahead, head to the store, price some, um, power coils and, um, mm, so what are these? What's going on with some of these? Fix these up. Is that what's going on? What's going on? Okay. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hit up Luna Shay, Luna Shale. Get some more of these uh, refinery coils. Um, this one's lacking too. Yeah. You know these things are expensive. They're nine hundred. Um, they're nine hundred coins a piece. Um, and that's the cheapest. Um, Melanin Sims did a fav did well did us both a favor and priced them. Um, so yeah, the cheapest is 900 coils, 900 coins per coil, and we need 25 of those. You do the math. 
for each machine, you guys. Not just 25 total, we need 25 for each of these machines. You can see the ghetto work right here. Let me let me just show you this ghetto work, okay? Uh, this is something that my dad would do, but that's okay. This is rigged up for a reason, okay? Um, but we're, we're gonna get it together, we're gonna get it together. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick, quick, quick update on what's going on with the settlement. Um, I will let Melon and Sims and Cosmic update you on what they're doing. Um, I didn't want to, um, you know, if they have a surprise for you, I didn't want to be the one to ruin it, okay? But um, I will definitely be doing a hunt later on tonight. I'm not sure if I'm going to um, show it or not. But if I do, if I do have it clipped on or if I do record it, it'll be tacked on the end of this. If not, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. Well, let's just say goodbye now, okay? Uh, but before I say goodbye, um, if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up so YouTube knows that you like this kind of content. Also, if you're not a member of the family, it would be greatly, I would greatly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and that bell down there because, well, you need to be notified when I, I upload a video. All right, guys, until next time, I've been Pixelated Twix. This is Dark Shade. Ciao.